Hi everybody, Coach Grundy here. Just a quick video in relation to the stresses and the anxiety that many people struggle with on a daily basis and the burden that that impact has on individuals in relation to them essentially going forward in a direction that one would hope people to go forward in. Again, it can be really, really detrimental to people and in their career progression and also in their social lives as well. But very quickly, if I may, there is something that you can incorporate within your daily routine that can really minimise the burden, again, of the stresses and the anxiety that many people are burdened with on a daily basis. I'm going to take to the whiteboard, if I may. Very quickly, I'm just going to roughly sketch on here. I'll show it you in a second. Here we have, again, a very rough sketch of the human head. And this is the brain, okay? So when we look at the brain, at the front here is something called the frontal cortex, okay? It's what is referred to as the intellectual part of the brain. It is something that allows us to think rationally rather than irrationally and make decisions and judgments based on a rational perspective. So we're thinking with more clarity, which is really, really important. Then we've got a section here, okay, that has within it the amygdala, the hippocampus, and the hypothalamus, okay. So the amygdala, the hippocampus, and the hypothalamus, okay. Now, this part of the brain is often referred to the emotional part of the brain. So we put intelligent side of the brain, again, the frontal cortex allows us to think more rationally and the emotional side of the brain. Okay, again, the amygdala, hypothalamus and the hippocampus. Okay, now when we're thinking about things from an emotional perspective, and again, many of us get emotionally involved with things and we do not think about things in a rational manner. And this is what essentially really impedes us and impacts us and the burden again that many people feel on a daily basis. And it's something for us to really consider, okay. so. Often an analogy what people will use, uh, for example, if you were faced with something that was going to pose a threat on you, you would have to act in an emotional state or your brain would act in an emotional way. So for example, you was being attacked by a tiger, God forbid. <coughs> Your emotional brain would kick in and essentially it could potentially and hopefully save your life. But again, we often tap into this stimulus, if you like, very quickly and it often can impede and impair us in our judgment. So it's something for you to think about. Now, this is what I want to throw at you very, very quickly and something that you can put into play that will, again, minimise the pressures that life puts upon us and the burden in relation to the stresses and anxiety. This is, and I'm going to introduce you to it now, again, a very rough sketch. Okay. It's something that I refer to as a stress bucket, okay? Okay, so this here, again, a very rough sketch, is the stress bucket. Now, in the stress bucket are things that really can take an impact on our daily life. So what I want you to do, and there's many things that could be in the stress bucket. It could be, for example, cutting the lawn, something that I've done recently that was really bugging me because of the weather. And I was looking outside and thinking, I really want to do it, but I can't do it. As soon as I could get outside, I did it. Tidying the garage, putting your clothes away, going to the gym, starting a diet. It can be absolutely anything, putting things into order in relation to your work maybe, uh, your accounts maybe online at work, your files and so forth, and making sure that documents are saved accordingly and you've done your work maybe uh, on a IT system or maybe handwritten documentation that you need to complete and maybe submit, maybe you're a student, who knows. I want you to think about five Things, okay, five things that are in this bucket, okay. Now I could say to you, think about 10 things, but for this example, think about five things that are prioritized for you or a priority that are in this bucket here. Five things, okay. Now think about the five things that are in the bucket, prioritize them in order. So obviously, one, two, three, four, five. And again, an example, it could be, uh, I need to go to the gym. 
I've not been to the gym for a long time. I really need to go to the gym, okay? I want you to start going to the gym. Go to the gym straight away, okay? Then it might be I need to go and visit a family member who I've not seen for quite a number of months. And again, that's not been sitting well with you. Go and see the family member, okay? It could be that your laundry or your clothing in your closet is not in the order that it should be in and it's been thrown in. You need to tidy it away. Maybe your wife or your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend has been saying, listen, it's a mess. You need to go in, reorganize your wardrobe. Go and do it. Once you've done that, this stress bucket that is essentially overfilling, it's overfilling with things, will start to move down, okay? It will move down, okay? And every time we do something, it'll move further down. And believe me, if you start to do this with the things that are playing on your mind, the stress bucket eventually will become less of a detriment to you, and again, the burden to you, and you will feel so much better. I'm going to leave it there. Try to incorporate it. Remember, frontal cortex, the rational part of the brain allows us to think with more clarity. And then we've got the hypothalamus, hippocampus, and also the amygdala. I could speak about this in more context, but I'm not going to do it. I just wanted to throw that out there to you for something that you could work into your daily routine. Enjoy. Drop me a message down below. Tell me if it's had any positive impact on you once you've tried it. Do it. I can guarantee you, you will feel much better in yourself. Enjoy the rest of the day, wherever you're in the world. Take care for now. Much love.